Good morning everybody. This is Archana here from Read, Write, Inspire. The video that I have for you today is something special. It's what you have hugely demanded from me for on Instagram when I shared with you my Create Planner by Meera Kothand. Create Planner is called as an intensive business playbook and planner for solopreneurs. Yes. The number of planners for solopreneurs is pretty limited in the market. Usually, the business planners that you get are uh, targeted towards these big corporate companies and their CEOs and CFOs. So, the kind of information which they ask over there and the kind of planning that they ask you to do is at a whole other level when compared to a solopreneur's business plan. Uh, which is why I think this planner is something special. Before I go further and tell you more about this planner, let me just share with you a few things. The first thing is about Meera Kothand. Let me just read out her bio. Meera is a certified email marketing specialist and Amazon best-selling author of the books, The One Hour Content Plan and, the and Your First Hundred. Her goal is to make powerful marketing strategies simple and relatable so that solopreneurs and small business owners can build a tribe that's addicted to their zone of genius. She has been featured on Smart Blogger, Marketing Profs, YFS, Addicted to Success and several other stripes. Uh, the speciality of Meera is that she, all her work is targeted towards solopreneurs, that is people like you and me, small business owners single persons who handle everything right from uh, product creation to marketing to customer support and everything. So what happens for us is that our plan is not just to juggle our business and the various departments that we handle in our business. It's also to juggle our life, our plans and our goals. Not all solopreneurs have the idea that they need to earn a lot. Some of them might be happy with what they earn, but they would like to do more in other ways, you know, it's like probably uh, increasing their reach. Not all solopreneurs would want to bring out four or five products every year, new products. Maybe they want, they are happy with the products they have, but they are looking to increase their reach. Or maybe there is a solopreneur who is happy with the limited audience that they have. Maybe they have some hundred followers and they are happy with these hundred uh, followers who like their product and they want to continue and create more products only for those hundred rather than you know widening their market and reaching people from other states other countries etc so uh, this is the speciality of her book her book is targeted towards solopreneurs and their goals so all the various kind of goals that a solopreneur might have if you are wondering whether this is a sponsored video, no, it is not. I, this is neither and I'm not going to leave any affiliate links down, nor am, is this video sponsored in any way. I have been using Meera Kothan's business planner and her editorial planner and I love them both. So this is only a fan video and a video to show you that these are two useful products and you must think of investing in them for this upcoming year. Before we go on further and look at the uh, pages and the kind of concepts which are described and explained in this book, I'd like to tell you a few things about the speciality of this planner. The first main and basic thing is that this is a planner which will not ask you the usual business questions uh, that any other business planner does. For instance, like um, how many products did you sell last year? What did you earn? How much are you hoping to earn? So, of course, this planner also might have such questions, but it doesn't limit itself to just the numbers, you know. The planner is something much more than that. For instance, who is your ideal customer? Who is your non-ideal customer? Who is the kind of person you wouldn't want as your customer? So, these kind of things... Uh, are uh, you know uh, things that you could brainstorm using the book now I know the moment that you've all been waiting for I'm going to change the direction of my camera and show you a peek into the planner stay tuned <laughs> 
Hi everybody, it's me here back again. So we are going to see the uh, create business planner for solopreneurs. Now, uh, before we go into the book, first let me show you uh, the quality of paper over here. So this book is in grayscale. You don't have any color pages inside, but the quality of pages is fantastic. The cover has a nice velvety feel to it, and um, the page thickness is pretty good. And I'm very sure you can easily write in it with your uh, gel pens also. I'm sure that that wouldn't be a problem. But however, I have been using a pencil or a ball pen. But I'm very sure you can use something else too. That wouldn't be a problem. The paper sub quality seems pretty good. The book uh, does have a uh, some bonuses that go along with it, which you can find online. And also the book has some quotes like this in between, which are really very nice quotes, which have been uh, cleverly and carefully uh, found by the um, author. So she has very cleverly found these quotes for us online. Now, this particular business planner is uh, based on these uh, seven principles. So you have these are the seven uh, sections in the book, your vision your zone of genius, your marketing mix, your digital presence, your offers, products and services, your revenue and income plan and your goals. So these are some of the things which you're going to be finding inside. And for every particular topic which I've mentioned over here, you're going to have a section where you work through that section to make your vision clear, your zone of genius clear, your marketing mix clear, what you're doing and what more do you need to do. Now, some of the concepts which are introduced in this book are explained a little bit over here. However, if you want to know more about this, I would say you should pick up a couple of, you know, Meera Kotan's book. For example, her principle of attracting, uh, you know, customers and keeping them and converting them, attracting readers to your blog and converting them into actual customers. These things are more clearly explained in her books like uh, the one hour content plan, the profitable content system, etc. So have a look at those books too. Most of them are very cheap and they are easily available on Kindle Unlimited. Uh, do pick them up and check them out. Proceeding further, uh, I'm not going to be going through every single page over here because that's not fair to Mira too. Uh, I'm very sure she wouldn't want me to do that. So I'm just going to go through some of the things over here and uh, some of the stuff that I like and it's going to be quick. So tag along with me. Uh, one of the most important things which she stresses in this book is who is an ideal buyer or a customer, who is a positive persona for your business and who is a negative persona for your business. And she gives you some questions and some working ons to find out how you can find out, you know, how you can really uh, brainstorm and find out who is your ideal customer. Then comes the vision and why do you need to have a vision for your business and what kind of vision do you need to have for your business? Then comes zone of genius, which will tell you what are your core values and what are the services that you provide and does your brand align with them? You know, does it make it clear for people who are looking at uh, your business on what, whether you're doing the right thing? And she also talks about what business tasks you want to do next year. What are some fears which you would like to outgo? And uh, what are some uh, business tools or tasks that you need to invest in in the upcoming year? As a solopreneur, I find this kind of thinking extremely helpful. Then comes the marketing mix where she speaks about... See, and this is another thing. Every unit, before starting every section, she gives you clear understanding on what you can expect in that section and uh, what she means and and uh, she gives it, it's like a business coaching you know it's like a coaching session she talks to you about some important things which will then as you go inside make you understand things much more better um after this uh, you also have your about your digital presence specifically where she speaks about your website and uh, what is the primary goal of your website? How does it look visually? Is um, 
how whether your ideal customers are able to clearly understand your website and go through it and what about all the templates and stuff that you need to refresh and keep in your site and all those tasks that you need to do in the online sphere for the upcoming year then she talks about the products and services that you are offering about you know who is your ideal buyer and how do you move that ideal buyer into a person who would actually buy your product how will you inch them towards yes what are the various products and offers and campaigns that you're going to run in that particular year then comes her uh, you know she gives a place for i don't remember now three offers um brainstorm three offers i think is it four no it's four or is it five <laughs> sorry i didn't notice this properly before i could speak to you so there are five offers which she mentions mentions in this book and uh, she gives you enough space to work through five offers for this uh, 2020 then comes the revenue and income plan don't settle don't finish crappy books if you don't like the menu leave the restaurant if you are not on the right path get off it i love that so uh in the revenue and income plan we first have a look at what happened in the previous year the revenues and expenses and what are we wanting to earn in the upcoming year our budget if there are some expenses that we need to tackle and uh, i also think that mira has a uh, you know a online google sheet where you have a revenue and income plan which will be complementary to this so um so that's another thing you get if you buy this um, this particular business playbook then comes the goals so she keeps if you see something you know she works through all the other things like our vision our ideal persona and the uh, ideal customer and our uh, what we want to earn our budget and everything and then she brings us to our goals to see what is the big picture goal what do we want to do this year where do we want to go where do we see ourselves in the future and with that we conclude the business planner uh in my opinion this is a very uh, useful one this would be really helpful for people who are especially in online business who are on, uh, who are in the sphere of online business who primarily are solopreneurs and who do not have a huge marketing team or who do not run huge ad campaigns these are people like you and me who create good content and uh, try hard to have a footing in the online world if you are such a person i'm sure you will like this um as i already mentioned this is not a sponsored video it's not um, you know an ad and i'm not going to leave any affiliate links to it yeah So if you liked it do pick it up i'm sure you like it it comes hugely recommended from me bye bye